Greetings and welcome to the Introduction to Astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for July the 18th of 2020, well, it is titled Finding Neowise. So what do we see here? Well, we see Comet Neowise, as if we've seen in a number of pictures this past week. And the comet there is very low above the horizon. And you can see the head of the comet pointing down and the tail pointing up into the up above. Now, the tail of the comet, as we've seen, is caused by the sun pushing material from the comet backward and stretching it out behind the comet. So the direction of the tail will always be opposite to the direction of the sun in the sky. Now, Comet Neowise is now visible in the evening sky, and a way to find that is to go and look right after sunset. Now, how can you identify it? It won't stand out as much as it does in a longer exposure like this picture, but you can actually identify it using a famous asterism. An asterism is a prominent grouping of stars uh, that is not a constellation, but just a specific grouping. And in this case, what you're seeing is the Big Dipper. So up above this, we see the Big Dipper. And if you look, the bowl of the Big Dipper, the lower part, is pointing down below towards the horizon and towards Comet Neowise. So if you can identify the Big Dipper in the sky, as the sky begins to darken, look down below that towards the horizon and you should be able to see the brighter head and part of the tail sticking back. Again, you would see it no, nowhere near as bright as you're seeing in this image, simply because the camera can take a longer exposure and bring out far more detail than your eye can possibly see. So you won't, don't expect to see it like this, but you can definitely see the uh, comet and its tail stretching back. So you've got a chance over the next week or so to be able to observe the comet and get a chance to view Neowise in the evening sky. It's likely going to begin to get fainter by the end of the month as it's moving away from the sun now and it will be approaching uh, the earth and coming closest to the Earth this next week, and then we'll continue to move further and further away. So as it starts getting further away from the Sun and further away from the Earth, it will continue to get fainter. So really, you're probably seeing it close to its best right now, and a good chance to be able to take a look at a comet, and one we haven't had, a good comet that's given us even a naked eye view like this for a few years. Now, if you don't see it as well there, you can also use a pair of binoculars, a great way to be able to see it, and to bring out a little bit more detail, as the binoculars will collect more light than your eye can, and allow you to see a little bit more detail, and hopefully pick up the comet. So hopefully you'll get a chance over the coming nights, if you get some clear weather, to be able to find Comet Neowise in the sky. So that was our picture of the day for July the 18th of 2020. It was titled Finding Neowise. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be our rotating moon. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.